Let us answer a question on insulation from 2024 GCE Paper 1. So I must say that um, some of the questions that you are going to find challenging uh, in Paper 1 comes from mensulation or earth geometry. Because here you deal with the uh, numbers that are in decimals, but of course you are not allowed to use a calculator. I think that is where it becomes uh, very difficult. So let us look at how we can easily uh, simplify it. So here is the question, and it was on question 12. So I'm just going to answer a question. Okay. So the diagram below shows a sector, A or B, whose area is equal to 34.65 centimeters square. The angle subtended at the center is 81 degree, and the radius is R centimeter. Take pi to be 22 over 7. The question is find the radius r of the sector. So how do we find the radius r of a sector? So the first thing we are going to write the formula because we are given the area here. So we are going to find the, uh, the we are going to write the formula for the area of the sector. And the formula is area of the sector is equals to theta divide 3 sixty multiply by pi r square. So this is the one that we are going to use. We replace what we have. So the area is given. So 34.65 uh, square equal to the angle subtended we are given is 81. 360 multiplied by what is our pi? Pi is 22 over 7. Then we multiply um, the radius square. Okay, so we can start by dealing with this side first. And what we can do here, the strategy that we can apply, we can reduce. So, 9 into 81 is a 9. What about 9 into 360? It happened that 9 into 34 is a 4. So, which means 9 into 360 is a 40. Then now, here we have 40 down. We can divide a 2, which gives us a 20. Then a 2 into 22, it gives us 11. So, what are we remaining with? So what we are remaining with, we are remaining with 34.65 or to relate everything equal to 9 over 20 multiply by 11 over 7 then multiply by R square. Okay, so now we are going to multiply what, that, what is at the bottom so that we can cross multiply with that or we can cross multiply that everything at the bottom multiply with that then also everything there or just one multiplies everything there so we are not going to multiply them we'll leave just them uh we just leave them as numbers just the way they are immediately you multiply then you are going to complicate things but just leave them th just like that you are going to find something to cancel at uh, some point so you're going to have 9 multiply by 11 r square okay let me just rewrite it nicely multiply r square equal to so the whole of this is 34.65 multiplied by 20 multiplied by uh, 7 then divide 9 multiply 11 divide 9 multiply 11 so now this part you remain with r square then on this other side deal with the top part first so if you multiply uh you know that 20 is just the same as 2 multiplied by 10 so we are going to multiply a 10. We multiply this, uh, this part of which we are just going to move this decimal one step. Okay? Then we remain with a 2 there. Then now we say, so what I'm trying to say is that you are going to multiply 34.65 multiply by uh, 10 multiply by 2, which is just a 20. So multiply by 10 is to be 3, 4, 6.5 then you multiply a 2 so which means we are going to multiply 3 4 6.5 multiply 2 what are we going to have so this is a 10 0 remainder 1 then 6 multiply 2 it is a um, 12 plus 1 is the 3 so here there's a point then that is a 12 13 so 3 remainder 1 then 2 multiply 4 is 8 8 plus 1 it gives us 9. Then 2 multiplied by 3 is a what? Uh, 6. 
so which means on top here this whole part let me just rewrite it here it's going to be th um, 693.0 multiply 7 divide 9 multiply 11 so now what can we do so 9 can go into um, 9 can go into this number okay so 9 into 69 it is 7 which is 63 so what is the remainder from 63 from 69 the remainder is um, 6 then 7 9 into uh, 63 again it is a 7 so there you remain with it 77 so you have r square is equals to 7 7 multiply by 7 divide the remaining part down here remains uh, 11 so now we divide 11 into 77 is uh, 7 then which means on top we are remaining with r square is equals to 7 times 7 okay so now 7 times 7 is 49 so r square is equals to 49 and now the square root of 49 is equals to 7 so r is equals to 7 uh, centimeter that is how you simply work it out okay so we've come to the end of the lesson that is what i wanted to explain to you so please uh don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel and also get to invite others so that we can learn together otherwise see you in the next one